Gonzar started out as one of our 18 semifinalists in our Home and Family Best Home Cook Contest. And yesterday, she emerged as our winner. Yes! Let's take a look. <laughs> in this covered in glitter envelope <laughs> that I'm holding on as if it were kryptonite is the winner of our Home and Family Best Home Cook finalist. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Dina! America for me, Miss, oh. Miss Eating America, Miss Eating America. I don't know. <laughs> what was going through your head when we called your name? I I just think all the the years of, of hard work and just just wanting to do something, but not sure it was in the cards for you. So that I don't know, just everything I'm, just lifted up. Yeah, I'm curious, cool. when did you decide to enter? Like right away, or did you wait? No, at first I had I had seen the contest um, through watching the show, and I was like, oh. That would, that would be fun, that would be cool. And I mentioned it to my husband, and then it was kind of coming close to the deadline. He's like, come on, let's just film it today. Let's just do it. I mean, he's great. He's super supportive. And so that's, and he helped it. me with the great production it. value. The I was show. really good production yeah, was, value. We were very him. impressed. He, he told me I had to mention that. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Look that's how Brian. beautiful you are. Wow. So the judges, I will say, in the oh, end. Oh, 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 that's great. Let's see, two of the judges are actually joining us right now. They were very <laughs> impressed with what oh, you thank did. Thank you so much. Yeah with the, the mystery ingredients, because there at the end, Mark said, listen, you've got these 10 ingredients, oh, you yeah. come up with something. <laughs> but you said it was your biggest challenge yet. Definitely, that was definitely a moment of pushing myself, because I have a fear of Chopped. I can't even watch <laughs> the show, those shows where they have those cooking competitions, yeah. where it's like, you know, six seconds to make like a full meal. And Delicious. so there I was in that made. situation. So my choice was to run out into the home and family backyard and not return, <laughs> or yeah. to suck it up and, and see what I could do. And yeah, surprise. I mean, you overcome your fear. I know. I know. I, know. I don't know. When, you know. She had 10 items yeah. that we just surprised her yes. with. And go, you have to come now until the end of the show to make. And then up. look at the And yeah. you made dessert yeah. on top and of And dessert. Yeah. I really? did. I just yeah. kept like pulling it out. It's kind of like when you're at home and you open the refrigerator and you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to make happen <laughs> yeah. tonight. And so. That was the Listen, yeah. you're really good under pressure. Thank you. You really I are. Um, I would have just, uh, had I been, in, I would just called Grubhub and said, oh, yeah. that's got chicken and <laughs> mangoes and, you know. Awesome. What were you saying, Kim? And Debbie, she did slip Dan and I $100. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, was that yeah. what it was? Well, yeah. clearly. You're so inappropriate. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I promised them some of my winnings, so. Oh, was that what it was? You're taking them on the cruise? <laughs> yes. All right, bring in the marsala, Shanti. Oh, this is what we're having. So today, you are making your grandmother's special chicken mm. marsala yes. recipe. Oh, my marsala. And I add a special mm. twist with oh. using some pancetta. And that's kind of like an Italian bacon. And it adds a smoky, salty flavor. I made this for Mother's Day one year just to kind of kick it up a notch there. And why is this recipe so special to you? Um, well, I found a handwritten recipe of hers that was chicken marsala. And with my grandmother, she has dementia. Um, and so sometimes, you know, she's in and out, she forgets some things, but whenever I'm cooking with her or call her with a cooking question, she's back and she's got it. And it's great to have that interaction Aww. with her. Yeah, there oh. she is. She's a great lady. She's taught us all so many amazing things and she has the best attitude ever in, you know, in sickness and in health. She's just upbeat. Mm. And so this is really just a tribute to her. Is she watching right now, you think? Definitely. All right, let's she's make her proud. Watching. How do Definitely. we make this? Okay, so the first thing we do is you're gonna take the pancetta and some shallots and you're gonna saute them, get them nice and crispy. Wow. And then you're gonna have the brown bits that are on the bottom of the pan. And you're going to scrape that up when you pour in your marsala wine, which is the best, the best. Okay. And then while that's happening, you're going to take your chicken okay. and mm -hmm. just simply salt and pepper it on both sides. I like to pat my chicken dry um, before seasoning it so it sticks a little bit better and dredge it in flour. Okay. And then you're going to add it to your marsala, which has been reduced down. So I'm just... Uh if you don't have Marcel, like what type of regular wine is that close to? Just any red wine will do? Mm, Marcel is a really distinct 
taste. It would be hard just to. So you need to go out and buy the bottle. You're, you're gonna need to go. Right. Yeah. Okay. So in other words, that chicken cabernet is not gonna <laughs> work. Cabernet, <laughs> chicken cabernet. Chicken cabernet. Chardonnay is not gonna no, work either. It'll become a different dish. It'll probably still be good because wine and anything. Yeah. Can only drink spots. A good idea. Oh, okay. So, no. All right. Hey. Chicken frappe. Hey, yeah. Chicken frappe. Chicken boot hill is not gonna work. College. Chicken mad dog twenty. Yeah. I also use mushrooms, and what I do is I saute them in a little bit of butter and garlic. Oh, and then I remove those. Mm. And that's actually a really good side dish for steak, too. Just, mm. just if you want it. Delicious. You want it do we add the pancetta back? Yes, you're going to add the pancetta back in to the mixture. Do you cook every night at home? Pretty much every oh. night. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but <laughs> some people don't believe me, but I do. It calms me down. And uh, any stress that I have. And how long have you been away. married? I've been married for six years. See? Wow. Six There's years. the key. There's the key. He's a lucky man. Mark always says, um, happy wife, happy life. That's yes. true. I like but that. But the way to a man's heart is through where? Stomach. Stomach. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. So if, if cooking calms you, what stresses you out besides us? Um, besides chopped. Um, yeah. Besides, yeah exactly. What stresses me out? You know, not too much. I try to keep a calm and, and level head. I would say when my mom comes over and starts talking about how I missed a spot when I cleaned the house. Oh, that's, oh. I love you, mom, but that sometimes yeah. stresses me out. Wait, are you my okay. sister? Really? <laughs> I, I hear the same thing all the time. What did you, because... I that, added some cream. Okay. Now, and that's going to make the sauce creamy. You're going to put everything back in the pan together, simmer together, warm it through, and then it turns that's into this easy. lovely and, dish yeah. here. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. You said something that's earlier, though. You said you had been working really hard at this. Have you yes. always, like, just been in the line of cooking, or did you have a other career? Or Well, I did have another career. I was actually a school counselor, and I did. I loved, loved being a school counselor. Sure. Um, but I was kind of doing a, a side business with the Disha Girl dot com and uh -huh. I didn't realize it could grow into what it's growing it. into oh. now and it was just a passion of mine sharing my food with others and hoping to inspire them to get around the table and so I quit my job. <laughs> At the <laughs> encouragement of her husband? Your husband said yeah. quit your job? Yeah, he was. He was oh. like, you know, I see this is what you want and this is what you really love. Just just take a shot. And so we so did it wow. together, Great. really. How so, how yeah. yeah. It's so wonderful. you got to take a shot. You know, and I would like to say, not only did she win the title of Best Home Cook for Home and Family, she also gets to be here for a week and cook for us. Oh, you, also so win, you, you also won a seven-day Caribbean cruise with Master Chef. Uh, awesome. Sean O'Neill, it's the Master Whoa. Chef Caribbean yeah. Cruise, which is amazing for seven days. And you win $1,500. Wow. So that's not too shabby. Uh, yes. Now, with that $1,500, have you decided what you're going to do with it yet? I have some ideas brewing in my head. I, part of it, what I'm going to do is I work um, at my church and we feed seniors once a month. We do this really beautiful spread for them. It's like five star dining. Wow. It's, it's oh, awesome. Wow. And we just recently built a kitchen to be able to accommodate this and we're just looking to kind of bump it up and get more of the things we need. And we've been recently talking about fundraising for it. So I'd like to start it off. Yeah. Oh.